Good morning, everyone. Donna from Explore Waterford here, and I've got Kelly from Reads by the River, our favorite local bookstore. So Kelly, um, obviously I just introduced you, but how long has Reads by the River been in Waterford? Where are you located? Tell us all the details. Okay. Um, hey, everybody. So uh, we opened in November of 2021. Uh, my husband, Steve, and I own the store, and we are at 102 East Main Street in Waterford, right on the corner by the bridge. By the bridge, can't miss it. It's a beautiful <laughs> location. We got a great view of Ten Cloud Park right here. Oh yeah, must daydream yeah. when the we sun have is a shining. Great spot for sure. Yes. Good. All right, so Kelly, let's start a little bit about you and Reads by the River. Why did you open a bookstore? Oh gosh, this has been a dream of mine since I was a kid. Um, my mom and I were both uh, huge readers, and we visited bookstores all the time. And I always thought I would love to open a bookstore. Um, it was just kind of a back of my mind idea forever. And I had mentioned it to my husband off and on over the years, and we've lived in the Waterford area for almost 23 years. Wow. We had a couple spots that we always said, if that ever opened up, I think that would be a great spot for a bookstore. Love it. And this was one of those. And so when this spot um, became available and the timing was right for us, which I don't know if the timing's ever right, but <laughs> is it ever right? Who knows? Right, I guess. So we just said, let's go for it. Let's uh, let's give this a try, and so um, we're very excited to to be here. Yeah, for sure. Such a romantic thought, doing something you've always dreamed of as yes. a kid. Yeah, I think that's super special. Yeah, and it, it really amazes me every day that we actually did it. So, <laughs> and it's beautiful. If no one's been in here before, you really need to get down here. This is like the coolest bookshop. It'd be like <laughs> if this were your home library, it'd be a dream. We love it. We it's do. <laughs> so cool. You guys did such a good job. Um, so what do you love most about Waterford? Oh gosh, well we've been here, like I said, almost 23 years. Um, we just, we love the sense of community here. And uh, if I didn't know it before, I certainly know it now. I feel like the people in Waterford really embrace the concept of supporting small businesses, shopping local. Um, I always felt that way, but when you own a business, then you really find out that um, the community as a whole has that mentality and it's just been lovely to see. Yeah, so I love that part about it. I love that. Waterford is a really wonderful community. We're great at supporting each other. Yeah. And the, just the people and just they're so welcoming. And yeah, I do love, I love everything about Waterford. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite Waterford event? Oh gosh, we do a lot of fun events. Yeah, um, we do. But uh, probably one of my favorites is the, one of the newest events, which was the Polar Express event that we did last yes. year. Uh, we just thought that was so much fun. Um, we were involved in a really small way, but just the whole uh, energy and enthusiasm for that was so much fun. We were the spot to buy the tickets and people were scrambling to get in here and get their tickets. It sold out really fast. Yes, it did. <laughs> it was um, just a really fun idea. I love that Downsman Transport, you know, was so able amazing. to work with us on that. And uh, it was just a blast. And I'm excited to see it happen again this year. Uh, and they made the yeah. bus look like a train. Oh, like, like it way above and beyond. Like, yes. <laughs> it was painted black. It was incredible. Yeah. It really, I think, made it so much more magical for yes. the kids. Yeah. Like, that was a great event. Well thought through. Well enacted. Uh, this year, I hear there might be two sessions. Oh, I hope so. So that more so. people can participate. So stay tuned, but those tickets will sell fast because yes. it is wonderful. It was. I mean, I went to hand out uh, the tickets and we had some things we were giving out on the bus when they were getting ready to leave. And um, my jaw was on the ground when I saw that bus pull up. It was amazing. It was so cool. It was so cool. Look back and we'll find some pictures. And as the event comes up, we'll post more about yeah. that. But oh yeah, I liked that one a lot. <laughs> awesome. And it's a great book. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's a, great we book. a lot of people pick up the book, <laughs> and it's a cool tradition to maybe start having as a family too, which I, I really agree. love. People are looking for that kind of thing, you know, something that they can a do really year neat after experience, year. magical yeah. memory yeah. making. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Yeah. Oh, how fun! <laughs> All right, so we are here for a very specific reason. Not only because we love Reads by the River, but you have a really huge event coming up. We do this so. Saturday, April 29th. It's Indie Bookstore Day. Um, there are over a thousand bookstores, independent bookstores like ours across the country who celebrate this day. And it's a chance to just not only celebrate having a little indie bookstore in your community, but also thanking our customers for being so supportive and really, um, you know, just keeping us going and um, sharing their love for us. It's been amazing. So 
we love this day. Last year was a really big day for us too. And um, yeah, so we're looking forward to that. It'll be all day on Saturday. We have a lot of exclusive items that we will be um, selling and very small amounts. I have a couple that I wanna show. So this is, I'm obsessed with this. The little onesie that says oh, on my way to the bookstore, gosh, the lowly worm from Richard Scary. That's just amazing. Super cute. Um, we have a uh, really cool collapsible mug that says meet me at the bookstore. And it's uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it goes, okay, we have like 10 of those. I no think we have six of that. these onesies. No. <laughs> And then, uh, I mean, there's several things I didn't even pull out. We have um, the Mighty Bite, which is a really popular series for kids. Um, we have signed uh, copies with an exclusive little print um, that's on the back. So we have, I think, five okay. or six of those. Awesome. And then uh, anybody who spends $100 or more is going to get one of these awesome tote bags. It's huge. I love the design this year. So cute. Um, that's a $15 value that'll be included with any purchase over $100. We have our new store stickers that anybody who spends 25 or more is gonna get one of those. Oh, I love those. Um, I love a good sticker. Yes, and then we have a drawing that we'll do. So for every $25 that people spend, they'll get a ticket into the raffle. Awesome. And we're gonna be giving away a $50 gift card, some other tote bags, some indie bookstore puzzles, just a whole bunch of prizes. We'll have at least probably 10 or 12 winners that'll be drawn for prizes. So much fun. Um, yeah. So do I have to be here to win or can I come shop and no, no, my ticket? No, you can come shop, leave? enter your ticket, and then we will call the winners on the next day. Yep, so yes. you don't have to be here during the prize drawing. And then we also are doing something new this year, a, a indie bookstore passport with four other stores out in the uh, general area here. So. If you go to all five of these stores, there's two in Kenosha, uh, Blue House Books and Studio Moonfall. There's one in Antioch, Illinois, called Little Bean Books, and then Milwaukee's uh, Boswell Book Company and our store. If you uh, go to each of those stores between now and May 5th, okay. spend $15 time. at each one and get a stamp, and you bring it back to the last store, you're gonna get a $5 coupon for each of the five stores, and you're gonna get entered into a drawing for a big gift basket too. So, dang, a road of trip, stuff. Yes. lots of fun. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> we had two ladies come in yesterday, because it started yesterday. Okay. We had two ladies come in yesterday. Uh, we were their second stop, and they uh, were on a mission, and they did all five in one day. They're, the two oh. furthest ones are an hour apart. It's, okay. That's not so certainly bad. doable in two weeks. so much fun. Um, they did it in one day, so. Rock stars. Yeah. <laughs> Overachievers, those yeah. ladies. Yeah. <laughs> but they want to win. Right. I don't Absolutely. blame them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, how fun. And who doesn't love visiting all the bookstores, right? So, right, because yeah. you guys, I'm sure, have a nice variety. And who yes. doesn't love and spending some time in a bookstore? I'm just going to move in, I think, <laughs> and just hang out. This is a nice You're space. do that. Each store has something unique, too, which I really love. I still love visiting all the other bookstores, too. So, um I think one of the coolest things we've discovered since we opened the store is the support of the indie bookseller community. It is amazing, like nothing I've ever seen before. It is not a competitive community. It is about um, lifting each other up and saying, hey, go visit this store and go visit that store. And um, it's really incredible. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. I love, yeah. I love that. It seems like so much today is competition that I love that we support each other. Yes as bookstores. Well, I'm not a bookstore owner, but I love being here anyway. Well, yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Saturday, April 29th, be here. Your hours are from 10 a.m. To, to 5 that day. 5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come get your free swag. Although I'm probably sounding like you might want to get here early to get some of the fun stuff. Yes. Because it sounds like minimal, yep. limited quality yes. quantities. Yeah. And sure. they're going to go fast because people love this bookstore. They do. They do go fast. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So we talked about some exclusives. Do you have some discounts? Is that what I heard? We're going to have discounts on our store shirts. They're all going to be 10% off. There's actually one right here. Um, store shirts will be 10% off that day. All of our plush, um, all of our stuffed animals for kids are going to be 25% off. Nice. Um, and then, of course, all the entries into the drawings and prizes and all that good Prizes. Stuff. Yeah. Everyone loves prizes. <laughs> awesome. Um, so let's talk about a few other of your um, really popular, popular yes. events. <laughs> Yes. Uh, cocktails and conversations. I see you have one sold out and they sell out fast. We do have one sold out for May, Geneva Rose. Um, if people are interested in that one, we are adding tickets this week Ooh. for um, just the signing. So you'll get to meet Geneva and have her sign your book. 
Um, we are sold out of the ticket um, for the first part where she'll actually be talking to the group. Okay. Um, but we really didn't want to disappoint some of those people who just want to meet her and have it signed at least. Sure. And so we will be adding that. And basically the ticket is just you purchase the book here. We'll give you a ticket to allow you to come to that event. And that's going to be over at Waterford Still House. We do partner with them for all of these events. Um, and they are so much fun. And that's we have, um, I think, six, I wrote my note, five or six already scheduled between now and October. Holy cow. Um, yeah, so, and all different genres. We have authors that um, do historical fiction, science fiction, um, just the mysteries, thrillers, all of it. So we try to have a nice variety for everybody. For every book lover and genre lover. So if I want more information on these and to get the tickets, where do I need to go? That's on our website, readsbytheriver.com. We um, post most of the events about four to six weeks beforehand with the okay. tickets available to purchase. Um, so keep an eye out. I highly recommend people sign up for our newsletter, which is a tab on the um, website. It takes two seconds. But that's where you're going to be sure to see it because as we add events, I send something out letting people know it's on there. Okay. Facebook, as we know, we can't always be can't sure always it's rely on that. Or I'll see something and it was three days ago yes. and I hadn't seen it until then. So, you know, it's a great resource, but I recommend the newsletter as the most guaranteed way to find out what's coming up. You will be the first to know if you sign up for the newsletter, yeah. which you can do on your website. Yeah, absolutely. Sign up for those newsletters. And we don't share it with anybody else. It's just for us, so... Yeah. Only exclusive no to Reads by the River, no <laughs> spam, but you get first dibs on tickets, it sounds yes. like. So that yes. sounds like a huge perk. And you probably release uh, new release books in there too? Oh, or? we have our new releases on the website. The website's great just in general to navigate. We can, um, you can order books on our website anytime. Perfect. Pick them up here in the store. It'll tell you if we have it in stock. If it's not in stock, but it's available to order. We usually get it within a few business days. Amazing. Yeah. Pretty oh, quick. Amazing. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about this cookbook club I hear oh, a lot about, and I'm too. very yeah. interested. <laughs> so cookbook club, we've had two. Our next one's going to be June 11th. Okay. The tickets are going to go on sale this week, actually. Mm -hmm. um, that is going to be, I think I have the book here, Feed These People by Jen Hatmaker. So what we do is we pick a book. We um, Everybody purchases the book. And makes one recipe out of here. You sign up so that we're Yum. not making duplicates. Love it. And we do it a potluck style. So everybody brings their food and shares. And we do those at DW Coffee in Rochester. It's oh, a my favorite spot. coffee shop. Yes. Great spot to do these. It's been so much fun. We just love doing the cookbook club. It's a blast. It yeah. sounds so delicious. <laughs> I need to join this club. That's going to be coming up soon. And you sell tickets um, to that? We do sell tickets to that. Yep. It includes the cookbook. So those will be online, like I said, sometime this week. Stay tuned. Yeah, Don't exactly. miss out on that fun experience. Yeah. That sounds delicious. We have another, we actually oh, have two okay. events with DW next, or in June. Um, mm. We're doing the cookbook club, and then we have an author coming um, June 28th for an evening event. Her name's Christine Hansen, and she uh, has written a book that was really popular in the store last year. It's called Farmers um, Markets and Festivals, I think. I'm now blanking on the Ooh, exact name. That's and good. then she also wrote something called the Wisconsin Cheese Cookbook. Yeah. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> what more do we need to know? That is my and, uh, <laughs> and then June 1st, she has a new book coming out about Frank Lloyd Wright and his inspirations oh. and, um, you know, just a lot about his um, inspirations here in Wisconsin and how he had a great impact on Wisconsin. So, um, She's going to be talking about all three of those, which is going to be really cool. Oh, how fantastic. Yeah. So we'll have a little evening event with her. She'll talk about her books, answer questions, sign books, and um, we're going to have a little food item from the cookbook that we're going to plan yes. as a part of that ticket, too. So. If there's food included, I'm in. I am no shame. <laughs> I get it. I get it. And if it's Wisconsin Cheese Cookbook, yes. even more. Even better. Yeah. And Frank Lloyd so, Wright, how cool. Is she, was, is she a Wisconsin artist? She's, or she's author? a Wisconsin author, yep. And she um, she writes for a lot of publications outside of writing these books, too. But I just kept saying, okay, well, that book is going to be great for our yes. customers because our customers really do love Wisconsin themed books, um, local interest kinds of things too. So Absolutely. I think she's going to be really a fun, a fun one. Oh, those will probably sell out fast. Yeah. So stay tuned. Sign up for a newsletter so you get first Yes, kids. exactly. Don't miss out. I keep saying that thing. Yes. Sign up for the newsletter. Oh my gosh. Well, your events are so popular and they, they do are. sell out. So and we don't want to miss more out. more and more popular, I think, as the word gets out there. So it's yeah. been really cool to see that growing. Yeah. How fun. How fun. All right. <laughs> so let's talk about collaborating, collaborating with other businesses. Oh gosh. We've yeah. mentioned the Still House who's amazing. We did one of these first with yeah, them. Yeah. DW Coffee, equally amazing, our favorite yes, little yes, coffee shop in a cool sure. bank. 
Oh my god. You guys gosh. haven't been there. It's super cool. It is a beautiful space they inside. They did a great we job. We love having events there. Yeah. I mean, and the still house as well. They're just really, we, the authors that have come to do the events for Cocktails and Conversation, like, this is the coolest event. This yes. is a great venue. This is so fun to have this like intimate little gathering of maybe 25, intimate. 30 people. Um, it's it's been great feedback from everybody, so that's Good. been fun. Still has we love um, them. Yeah, we love collaborating just in general. Um, we we're working on something with Spankies right now. Um, mm -hmm. Stay tuned for details. Stay tuned. Um, <laughs> we uh, yeah we're 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 all about trying to you know collaborate with our fellow businesses. It's uh, it's really important to us. One of the things we did last year, our biggest collaboration was the Find Waldo event. Yes. Um, that was the whole month of July. We had 25 businesses that were able to participate. They hit a little Waldo figure in their business, including you guys. Yes, we did. It was so much fun. He was um, really cute. Yeah. I and, still have him. And just to see the kids and their families come in and try to find him was just so much fun. It was the whole month of July. We are doing that again. We had to apply and, and get reaccepted, and we were. So, um, yeah, we've got some new businesses participating this year. And uh, I think it's going to be a blast again. So that'll be coming up again the whole month of July. Finding Keep an Waldo. eye out for, for that. But that's a huge collaboration for us with lots of different businesses. That one was fun because we included like a lot of town. You said 25 yes. locations. I mean, we get all sorts of people participating. Yeah. It gets you out there to experience new businesses if you haven't been yes. there before. Some of your favorites. But it is fun because it's interactive. Yeah. I mean, we moved Waldo quite regularly. Because yes. <laughs> it was just fun to like hide him places. And yeah. people enjoyed searching. Yeah. It was so much fun. It was a blast. Yes. It was a blast. And I just loved the feedback. So many people came in to turn in their sheet when it was done and said, I didn't know this business existed, or I had never been in here, or I didn't know what this person did. And we were hearing that over and over again. So it was really great feedback. Yeah. Sensational. Yeah. So that is in July. Stay yeah. tuned for more details. We'll yeah. make sure we get all that out there for you guys. Um, let's see. Is there anything else new we can talk about? The only other thing I would mention is... Um, a week from this Saturday, so we have Indie Bookstore Day this Saturday. The following Saturday is the wine tasting event. Oh, yes. And um, we have Jeff Nanya, who's a Wisconsin author, mm. terrific guy. Yeah. He has written a really popular series um, called the Northern Lakes Mystery Series. I have one here. This is the first one. Um, these have been really popular in the store. In fact, I have the best story because a lady came in yesterday. Is that this? She... Um, said she's been married to her husband for 42 years and he's never read a book in that 42 what? years and she right you know some people just aren't some readers people are busy. okay it's fine. <laughs> we like nature. i'm sure he has other hobbies but in any case she gave him this book and she said he's now halfway through the second one ah, wow. can't put it down he loves it so what better endorsement than that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's like, pretty i'm good. telling everyone that's a great story um, well, who doesn't just, love mystery books, first yeah, of all, and yes. mystery books related to our area? Take even place more in cool. Wisconsin, yep. Um, so that's been really cool. So we're really excited to have Jeff here. So he will be here during the wine tasting from 1230 to 430 on May 6th. 1230 to 430 May 6th. Come yeah. see Jeff. Talk to him about his amazing book. And will he sign? He'll sign he will sign his books, too. We have all four here. You can buy one. You can buy all four. He'll sign whatever you'd like. Um, they're great gifts for Father's Day, clearly. Father's Day's coming up. <laughs> Uh, although we have lots of uh, ladies that come in and buy them and love them too. So that's certainly not restricted, but, but it is a good Father's Day gift. If you're looking for that thing that dad Something might Something really unique enjoy. Yeah. that you might get besides a tie, which dad loves ties, but a book might be fun Do too. Do wear ties anyway? I don't know. <laughs> Weddings? I don't know. We went to a wedding Saturday. No, no ties. ties. Hardly any ties. The groom. I think okay. that is it. We'll nick the ties then. No more ties, everyone. <laughs> Books are where it's at. <laughs> Do I have to have a ticket to the wine walk to come in and meet Jeff? Nope, you do not. Okay, you do I can not. just come in and see him if I don't want to. But come one. for the wine tasting because it's for a great cause and we yes, would love to support that as well. But yeah, it's um, he will be here to meet people regardless. So, um, yeah. Where do we get tickets for the wine walk? You tell me, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think That's your is it? I think if you get them online at Changing a Destiny. Yes. Changing yes, a Destiny that or right. KK Photography. Yeah. I'm very yeah. sorry. I'm sure it's somewhere on the Explore Water Group page too. I uh, potentially, imagine. yes. Yes. Potentially. If it's not, we're gonna make sure it is. If not, it will get on there later today. Now that we've blasted me. Well done, Kelly. <laughs> out there we'll get it to you you go ahead and give us an email we'll get it there absolutely we'll all right <laughs> anything else we can chat about this beautiful store near 
think that's it. Just come and see us. Yeah, come and we, see us. Um, You'll help us, guide us toward the right direction if we need a book. Oh, for sure. One of my favorite things to do. People come in and they say, I love reading about this, and I will give you all kinds of suggestions. Um, love that. Or I need a gift for somebody. We get that a lot. Um, you have some beautiful accessories. Oh, yeah. Lots of uh, puzzles, gift items as well as books. Great sure. gifts. Yeah, you can yeah. find something for everyone here. I actually come here quite often for gifts. Yeah. It's a uh, who doesn't love a good stuff. book? Right. Even if it's just a cookbook or a puzzle, you yeah. got great stuff. We have puzzles, we have games, we have candles, we have tea, um, mm. we have the best caramels in the world. I mean, you know, there's just I a little something. I have seen those, I have <laughs> enjoyed those. They are very good. Yeah, yeah. So a little something for everybody, for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so let's ask some fun random questions okay. while we're here. I got you on the spot. How do you feel about garden gnomes? <laughs> I have never thought much about garden oh. gnomes, but I mean, they're adorable, they right? Are, they I are. mean, they're adorable. Yes. There is actually a path in our neighborhood okay. that goes along the river, and if you go down far enough, there is one house that has quite the little collection, oh. a little scene of yes. garden gnomes. So I always get a big smile on my face when I see those. Okay, so, so I'm going to say you're pro-garden gnome. I, I'm pro-garden gnome. Even gnomes. though you haven't thought about it. I, you know, I mean, when I see them, I smile. Good. So well, it's, a good it's a good thing. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, what's something about you that people would be surprised to know, Kelly? Oh my gosh. Share the intimate details we want to know. I, boy, I don't know. I feel like I'm such an open book. I don't know. Well, that's okay um, too. I mean, I think, uh. Like no surprise hobbies or talents. Well, I had a photography business for 11 years before opening okay. the bookstore. Okay. And, um, so that is definitely an interest of mine. Love that. Um, I've, and I enjoy obviously i took photos of people but i really enjoy doing nature photography Beautiful. um i'm fluent in sign language i have a sister with okay. disabilities who lives with us and she's deaf so i think a lot of people know about wendy but everyone um, loves wendy we <laughs> all know about wendy she's the star of your facebook page she's the star and she prefers it that way yes, yes absolutely she yeah. deserves it she deserves it she's amazing she is awesome yes definitely a fan favorite around here um and she likes to help bag the books and put stickers on things and she's a great helper too yeah yeah we love Wendy. yeah <laughs> okay awesome so let's see uh what do you do to cheer yourself up when you're having a bad day besides probably reading a book reading is always a good thing yes. i highly recommend that um i would say again the photography is something if i I really need to get out in some fresh air and sunshine. I'll take my camera. Um, reading for sure. But I think just being here, honestly, that sounds so cliche, but it, it's so hard being in a bad mood here. <laughs> I feel I mean, it. I can't I recall it. if I've had a bad day here in the store in a year and a half because people come in, they're just in a good mood for the most part. They're... Um, you know, we get such great feedback the minute they walk in the door, and um, so this is my happy place. Okay. When I when I need to be in a good mood, it's pretty hard to avoid it if I'm here. So. Dang, that was a good answer. You should get a raise. <laughs> I I have the best boss in the world, so yeah. I'll talk to her yes. about that. <laughs> we'll put in a good word for you. <laughs> All right, last fun one. What superpower would you have if you could have any superpower? Ooh. Maybe flying so that I could get places Popular faster. One. Fan favorite. Because I love to travel. And now that I have the store, traveling has taken a little bit of a back seat. So being able to fly myself and get there a lot faster, maybe I'd actually get to go more places. <laughs> you just fly to Italy for yeah. dinner, pop back. Right. If I didn't have to sit at the airport for yes. two hours and then sit on the plane and all that, yeah, I'd rather just be able to fly there myself so much faster. And I could do it on a whim. Yes. Yeah, so uh, that's I a good I one. To go with that. Flying's popular. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Okay, guys, this was wonderful. Thank Kelly, you, you were a great so host. Much. You guys need to come down to Reads by the River, specifically this Saturday. Celebrate Indie Bookstore Day. Celebrate our amazing bookstore in our community. Celebrate Kelly, who's an amazing supporter of our community, our businesses. Uh, we love her. We love Reads by the River. Um, find everything on their website, readsbytheriver.com. Follow them on social media. Get on their newsletter so you don't miss out on tickets. Yeah. Come on, guys. Lots of homework here. We're doing I know. A lot of homework. <laughs> Sorry. I'll have a list at the bottom of this so you guys can check it off as you go. <laughs> don't miss out. Um, but it was wonderful Monday morning. You guys have a great week. This is a wonderful start to my yeah, week. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thanks so much, Donna. Kelly, it. lovely. You guys have a great day. Thanks for joining us again for Host and Highlight. See ya. Bye.